<laughs> Hi, everybody. It's Jeff and Nikki from Nightshade Nook Decor. So we are getting ready to pour more custom coasters. It is coaster season here. <laughs> and we aren't complaining at all. I like all the different coasters. So Jeff has already mixed up the uh, My Spring Deep Pour Epoxy. No, 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 no. Or Wise, Wise Bond, Bond Deep Pour Epoxy. Because you have a My, My Spring product in your hand. Yes. That's where I'm at. So we are pouring uh, a custom order for some Mets coasters. So Jeff is using the My Spring Pacific Blue and the My Spring Charcoal Black that will hopefully get us that that color that we're looking for. I feel like you have another coaster. Oh, you have the Bills coasters to pour yeah, still. We'll do those next. And then we also have a custom table pour coming up. I think the wood is cut but not plain yet. Correct. I'm excited about that table. Yeah, me too. I can't it's wait to get that very going. Unique. We'll do lots of videos on that. Yeah. All right. I like those colors. I mean, it's still going to get darker because I can see you've got a... a lot of clumps, yeah. Yeah, a lot of clumps in there. I don't know, what do you think? A little more black? Maybe, but first we need to dissolve what we have in here. So I feel like we've kind of been lax in our video making lately but we've been it's been it's been a long week it's been a long rough week and we've sort of been gardening and getting our landscaping together yeah <laughs> i've enjoyed that we've done a lot a lot of yard work which was much needed yeah it's paid off too it's came out really nice okay so i would say maybe a little more black i huh? think a little more black yeah. But I like those colors together. And it's hard to say. To, see, I'm also, I'm looking through the camera, which I should never do. Because it's always infinitely different. Yeah. It's like a, it's like the sapphire blue in the camera. Sort of, yeah. I think that's a nice navy. I would say it's not quite navy, but it's getting darker. Well, there's only so many blue shades I have stored in my head. Mm -hmm. It's close to navy. It's deeper than a cobalt. Unless you're looking through on our video, then it's really cobalt blue. <laughs> <laughs> but I like that color. I think that's really cool. I like that the black, when you mix the black in, it still kind of leaves like black streaks. Yeah, a little bit of a swirl. Yeah. It has a natural blue, so when that sets up on its own, that's going to be pretty. I think it's going to be very, very cool. So we've got this. We've got the Bills coasters we're going to pour. We've got that table that we're going to pour probably in a couple days. Um, we've got the AC set up in the shop. So we can continue doing our epoxy pours at a good temp. Okay, I think we're ready. And I like this piece of wood. Is this the one you're using? Um, yeah, we can use that one. That's a nice, janky slab. So we have our board set up in the exotherm. I, I just need to blow out some of the dust with the compressor real quick. <laughs> HDPE, no seal, reusable coaster form. <laughs> Apparently, I can't talk and be talked to. <laughs> I actually set this up yesterday and now some dust has settled in it. May as well do this one too because we're going to pour it next. So what are these? Are these maple or oak? Maple. I like them. They've got a lot of nice grooves in them. Yeah, these ones are pretty cool. Really janky slabs, so... They'll look pretty neat. This one's actually kind of rotted, but um, the epoxy is going to just go all throughout it so it'll stabilize the wood and it'll actually look cool because there'll be, there'll be epoxy in there. 
So, and then we've got some steel coats on some coasters to do too. We've got the Eagles coasters, Steelers coasters, finish up those beach coasters, which by the way, we are sold out of beach coasters. So we're gonna have to make some more of those, which we're both excited to make more of those beach coasters. I enjoy making oh, them, look, they're a lot of fun. You can see the epoxy coming up through. Oh, that's cool. I like this color. Yeah, this is a nice color. So my springs, Pacific blue and charcoal black, right? Yep. Yeah, this is very pretty. I think it's going to look really cool. So like we said, these are going to be New York Mets coasters. Um, we had a custom order for. So if you guys are interested in placing custom orders for our coasters, um, please feel free to DM us or you can fill out one of the forms on our website, Facebook message, whatever, email, whatever works for you. And then Jeff's going to go over this with the torch so we can see what the color actually looks like once those air bubbles are out. Yeah, that's a really rich color. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. I think he's going to be very happy with these. So we will be back on shortly to do the Buffalo Bills coasters. And then... Which is pretty much just a different shade of blue at this point. Well, we don't have to do them on live. I mean, it's fine. I don't mind not doing back-to-back -back lives. But I like that color. Yeah, this is a really pretty color. But we'll definitely do the seal coat or flood coat on, on all of the coasters so you, can guys, you guys can see what the finished products are. And then we're definitely going to start on some more beach coasters and that really cool table that we're gonna do, which is another custom order. And the Peacock Green Table is actually up at the Shops on the Ridge, Shops on West Ridge. So if you are interested in it or you just wanna go take a look at it and you're in the area. I would go just to take a look at it. I yeah, think it's worth a it's, look. It's worth the look. It's, at, um, it's in the lower level at Shop 577, Grandma's Treats and Treasures. And she has a lot of neat things there, too. She has a lot of treats and treasures. She has a beautiful dish set there. Oh, yeah. I keep looking at that. I have no use for it, but I'm in love with the dish set. And I'm sure Jeff, every time I look at it, he's thinking, what are you going to do with that? Nothing. I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm just going to look at it. <laughs> just for but looking, huh? Just for looking. We have so many dishes. But we also dropped off some wreaths up there, some door hangers. So I would definitely say stop up at the shops on the ridge. In fact, they're open today, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So if you're looking for something kind of cool to do this weekend, I would say venturing through the shops is a good place to spend some air-conditioned time because it's supposed to be hot this weekend. And also the Weeping Mermaid shop is right around the corner from the booth that we have the table at. She has a lot of neat things. We did a live uh, at her shop last week. We love us some Weeping Mermaid. I really do. I want to get, there's some things I definitely want to get from her shop. All right. I think we're good to go. For now, I think we are. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to mm -hmm. like and share our videos. Um, we're going to actually put these up on our YouTube channel. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram, TikTok. We've had a lot of uh, videos on our TikTok page. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can eventually have our own URL. <laughs> That's growing very slow. Please, please subscribe to YouTube, <laughs> even if you don't watch. Please subscribe. <laughs> um, but you guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll talk to you later.